Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. This is a result of one of the newest updates in Shortcut to Lot 5. And I'm going to be going through how to utilize the new trace options that we have. Okay? And one of them is this awesome thing right here, prompt to continue tracing. How many times you got to keep going back and forth to the same file? Mm -mm, not anymore. You click that awesome thing and you will be just continuously tracing the same file okay so it's pretty awesome then you have lots of uh, different choices in here um, although I tend to not even really need to use those because the newest trace seems to give me everything I need um, and I do know that this file even though it looks so simple it was actually extremely tricky to try to trace um, and I think it was just the subtle differences in colors uh, in the old trace screen kind of threw you for a loop because it would start to pick up, you know, because this, the different subtle differences in colors would really throw you, okay, and the trace would start to pick up on it. Now this one captures them perfectly. So let's get going on this. Okay, so I have that prompt to continue tracing box ticked. So once I pull this in here, that's it. That's all I have to do. Okay, so that looks good right there. And look, I'm only on a two. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. Oh, the dogs. It says, would you like to continue tracing to add more layers? Yes, why thank you. So I double click on the color. I'm going to come over here. Let's grab this color. Oh, look. Oh, and it actually separate. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to click OK. Yes, but nothing's happening over here. That's okay. Do not panic. Let's pick that piece right there. Yep, okay. Yes. Double click. Let's pick that color right there. Oh, yep, okay. Yes. All oh, these dogs. Oops. Okay. That's black and that's black. There are subtle differences in shades, but I'm going to pick up, try to pick up all of them. There we go. Update. Because I need to make sure there's no speckles anywhere else. Okay. Yes. Let's double click here. Let's pick up the tail. Let's drop this back down to two. It seems my lucky number on these is two. Update. Oh, perfect. Okay. And I think we just have white left. You've got to kind of keep track in your head what you've captured so far. Okay. Reset mass. Edit. I don't want to capture any of that background. So now I'm going to hit OK. No, I don't want to add any more. So let's see what the <laughs> That's what it gives me. A perfect trace every single time. And we've got the pieces to the legs every single thing that could be possible. There is node errors in this and I need to go in and fix them. But that's about a perfect trace. There is some issues um, in this. Is this still grouped? Yeah. So now I have to come in here. Object. Ungroup. There are issues in this light colored file. 
And by issues, I mean slight fluffiness. You can see it right there around those edges. Okay. But other than that, you see all that? Other than that, it looks amazing. So I am really, really impressed with um, how Shirt Cuts a Lot and the new tracing feature works. Let me try to get this back down here. So let's come in here, grab them again. All right, so what's in green is what is being traced. You have a resample, which you can go up to four different times. You can tick the despeckling, okay, which when I've worked with this and done this on this exact file, I get the exact same result, okay. You can choose a high pass filter. Okay. Um, but I have found that leaving that unticked, uh, a lot of times I will have D speckle on uh, because that does help smooth it out when it traces. Um, but my resampling, I don't tend to have it done um, unless it is an extremely intricate trace. Okay. But this is it. something, again, get in here, play around with it. Uh, these are the settings that I always have. Um, I never use the break apart outlines or add the image layer. Okay. Um, I will use blackout, um, especially when I am capturing a cut file from a print file. Okay. Um, so get in here and utilize this, especially this right here. That excited me to no end. Okay. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. Thanks.